thing is huge. It's 180 tons of solid granite. It's the largest granite monument in America, and it's hidden on a hilltop overlooking Plymouth in a residential neighborhood. We call it the Matrix of Liberty that was given to us by the forefathers, by the pilgrims. And they, those 130 years ago, when they built this, wanted to leave this behind for us so that if we would ever forget how liberty is built, we would know what to do to regain it. This is how they did it. This is how they did it. Now, if, if somebody else wants to try another way, which is what's happening today in America, we're trying a thousand ways to turn America around, but this is the way it was done. Look, this is it. The only successful strategy of liberty that has ever been carried out in the history of mankind. Well, let's walk through it. And yeah, this, yeah. We're, let's we're, take this strategy apart. What does this mean? What are they trying to tell us here? Where, so where do you, where do you well, start? Well, her name is Faith. It says so right there. And she is pointing her finger to heaven. Why? For God is. For God is, because her faith is in the God of the Bible, in Jesus Christ. They knew that the only faith that could bring true liberty was a faith in the one true God and his Bible. And you see a Bible there, an open Bible. It's a Geneva Bible. The pages are opened up, which meant that they read it. And as they read it, and as they had faith in God, he gave them wisdom. That's why you see the star on her forehead. She's given wisdom to know how to live in this world. And all of the rest of these statues, each one weighing almost 20 tons, is tied to faith, because without faith, it falls apart. And that's the beginning of it all. 